A record number of Americans are expected to mail in their votes this November because of the pandemic. But when you send in your ballot, what are the odds it will actually count? CBS This Morning's Tony DeCopel put the Postal Service to the test. If you know how to mail a letter, you already know how to mail in your vote. How you doing? But how long might it take for that vote to actually arrive and be counted? Have a good afternoon. We decided to test it, sending 100 mock ballots simulating 100 voters from locations all across Philadelphia to a P.O. box we set up to represent a local election office. In the following week, we checked our P.O. box for the results. Mail pickup notice, there's more. When we went to collect everything, though, most of our votes seem to be lost. That's all I have back there right now. That, that's you're sure? Huh? You're, you're totally sure? I believe you. All right, good. Have a good day. Okay, take care. We had to ask for a manager. We're trying to do something about mailing ballots. And explain ourselves before someone finally found our votes. They came somewhere else. Okay, thank you. One. 21% of our votes hadn't materialized after four days. So of our 100 ballots, 97 arrived, which sounds pretty good, unless you consider the fact that that means three people who tried to vote by mail in our mock election were in fact disenfranchised by mail. In a close election, 3% could be pivotal, especially in what's expected to be a record year for mail-in voting. Tammy Patrick is a former Arizona election official who says many states have policies that just don't take into account the postal system. You are setting up the voters with false expectations and you're setting them up to fail. Tony DeCopel, CBS News, Philadelphia. Really interesting.